Do you ever wonder how people use things like Canva and Trello together? I want to show you this week how I use Canva and Trello to manage my Pinterest strategy. So stick around. Okay, so to start with, I, I actually usually start in Trello, okay? I have a whole Trello board that I use to manage my Pinterest strategy and all of that. It's fully automated and, you know, all kinds of good things. Um, and it's actually a template that is available in my membership to help you stay on top of what content you want to be pinning of your content, okay? We're talking about only your content pins here. Um, that you want to be pinning on a regular basis every day to create that consistency that Pinterest and its algorithm is looking for in order to help you grow your Pinterest and get more traffic to your website or to your store, whatever it might be. But at the same time, you want to make sure that your stuff is not coming off as spammy, meaning that um, you're pinning the same piece of content too frequently. So that's why I created this board and the um, Pinterest Freedom Formula template that I have because it automatically tells me what piece of content I should be pinning that day or in my case, scheduling, because I always like to be about a week ahead just in case I have a day that I get busy and I forget to do my fresh pin. So I'm, I'm always kind of creating that buffer for my consistency. But I don't have to stop and think about, well, what did I pin most recently? What should I pin today? The system is doing it all for me based on the automations that I've set up. I'm not gonna show you all of that. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like for me to pop into my fresh pin strategy in the morning and actually do my pins, okay? So this is utilizing uh, three tools actually, Trello, Google Drive, and Canva, okay? And I can do this from my mobile phone just as effectively and quickly, honestly, as I can do this from a computer, okay? So the first thing I do when it's fresh pin time, which for me is 7.15 in the morning, not when I'm recording this, I didn't do them today so that I could show you. I come into my Pinterest strategy board and I have a couple of things going on here. So I do have dash cards at the top where... Um, I see how many pins I've already got pre-scheduled. And then I also got one that shows me how many pins are in my rotation right now. And by pins, I mean pieces of content. So there are 78 different pieces of content in my rotation right now. And over time, I will sometimes start to move things out. You can see I'm using this consider archive label that does move it over to this list and sort of takes it out of rotation. I do that somewhat regularly as well so that I keep my fresh pin content fresh, right? So the first thing that I do is I scroll down on this list until I find the first card that does not have a an orange scheduled label, okay? And I see, okay, that's the next piece of content that I need to create a, create a pin for or maybe I've already created one in advance. So I will click into that card. And um, I, you can see here, I've got a Google Drive power up that is connected to this card. So if I'm on computer, I can see here if there was already pins that I had created that were waiting for me, I would see them here. If I'm on mobile, I have to actually click into Google Drive in order to see that. That's the only difference there. Um, but this tells me, okay, I need to make one, make a card for how to create my first Trello board. That's one of my YouTube videos. So um, I have a certain type of pin that I use for that. So we're gonna go over to Canva. And over here in Canva, I have um, different folders. I've got my fresh pins folder. So I'm gonna click there. Within that, I have more folders and one of them is for my YouTube content. So I go there. And then in here, I have folders for each piece of content that I am currently having in my rotation, right? So I'm gonna click over to folders and I'm gonna filter this or sort it by um, alphabetically so that it's easier for me to find. But I'm gonna go and find how to create my first Trello board and that's right here. Now, sometimes because I have a lot of content here, like I can't see the name of them and they're all kind of similar. So sometimes I'll switch over to list view, which then makes it easier for me to see the full name of that content, something that, you know, not everybody thinks to do, um, but it can be really helpful, especially if you have really long names like I do. So, but then I click into 
that folder. And within here, I have created a brand template, which I've done a video on brand templates before. Um, but if I pop back out for a second to my fresh pins and we go back into that view, you can see right here, I've got a brand template um, already ready to go of some pins that I've created in advance that um, I just use. I kind of like go in and plug in different information into. But because I've already used it for this piece of content, I can simply go into the folder itself and open it up. And you can see here, I've already created a couple of pins for this particular piece of content. And that means for me in my process that those pins have already been scheduled, okay? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna find one that doesn't already talk about Trello. And you can see I've already done quite a few of them. Okay, so here's one. So um, in this particular case, having a number here is not gonna be super useful for me. So um, instead, I'm gonna just drag this down and just do, Put Trello and spread that out just a bit. So just so that the word Trello catches the eye. And then I say how to create your first board. And like that. And then instead of read more, because this is a video that this is going to go to, not um, necessarily a blog post, I'm going to say watch now. And then of course, I wanna change out this picture because this picture doesn't make any sense for what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go into where I have my uh, stock photos, my stock images that I like to use. And I'm just gonna go grab one. So let's see, uh, let's go into the minty favorites. I like those. And so I'm just gonna grab one of these and drag it over. And now this particular pin is done. So then as part of my process, I'm now going to share this pin to the Google Drive folder, which is organize all the files in there are organized in the same way that they are in Canva so that it's easy for me to find and you know link the correct pieces together. So I went into Fresh Pins, I went into YouTube content. I'm gonna scroll until I find the how to create your first board. And then because I'm gonna schedule this right now, I'm gonna click all the way through into my scheduled folder within that Google Drive so that um, I don't have to then go move it again later. And then I'm gonna unclick and just go to the actual page I'm on, which is page five, hit done and save. And this is the first step because this is now gonna send this into Google Drive, which is how I keep track of the pins I've already pinned for that particular content. So then I come back to continue editing. And then because I have linked Pinterest with my Canva, I can pin directly, I can schedule it directly from here. I can only schedule it though, because I use Canva Pro, okay? So if you want to just pin it right now, you can do that in Canva free. But if you wanna be able to schedule it in advance, you need to have Canva Pro. And I do have a link down below where um, you can try Canva Pro. So if you wanna test this out, go ahead and click that and upgrade your account or create your account if need be. But I go ahead and click Pinterest. And then I'm just gonna find the board. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it on productivity tips because Trello is a productivity tool. So here I'm gonna put in my title, how to create your first Trello board. And then I'm gonna go back to Trello <clears throat> where I've already got here in the comments um, a description that I like to use for this. Sometimes I'll change it up just to make the fresh pin a little bit more fresh. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep the one that I have. I grab it and copy, go back over here, hit paste. And then I come back over to my Trello board to my card where I have my destination URL all ready to go. And I copy that, go back over to Canva, hit paste. And then because I already have the due date here of March 10th, I'm gonna come back over here, go into my scheduler, hit March 10th, pick a time, done and schedule. And then it's gonna go ahead and schedule that piece of content. So this was kind of a longer view of what that looks like because I was explaining as I go. But now I'm gonna do my next piece of content. I'm just gonna do it in real time so that you can get a feel for 
how much time this actually takes me. Oh, and I do come back over here and I add that scheduled label so that I won't schedule that piece again. Now let's just see what this looks like in real time when I'm doing one of my quote fresh pins, okay, for my TSA Weekly, my newsletter. Okay, there's part one, there's creating the pin. And that's it. I'm done. Guys, the online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.